Mexico sits next to, to the US, Poland sits next to the Eurozone, basically to Germany. Well, the difference in level of, of development is, let's say, comparable. Polish economy is about 40% of Mexican economy in terms of nominal values. In terms of population, it's about one third, less than one third. We are about 38 million people, 39 million. Mexico is what, 120? 110. 110, okay, so. Polish economy is about 550 billion dollars, yours is about 1200 billion. Okay. Uh, Mexican economy is basically a, used to be a rural economy, it was killed by NAFTA basically. You are now an industrial powerhouse. You are a bit like China of America. One third of your GDP is produced in manufacturing, which is very high. Poland is very similar to this. Well, we are still quite strong in agriculture, but manufacturing accounts for about 20% of our economy, and we sometimes, with irony and with uh, maybe uh, lack of sympathy are described by some West European countries as a, as a small China of Europe. You know, a producing factory. Okay. In Mexico, 20, the exports accounts for 25% of GDP. It's a pretty closed economy. Why is it closed economy? Because it's a big economy. The bigger the economy, the more closer it is. The more important internal market is. But, for, but, but export, is in, in, in absolute terms, is very big. It's much bigger. But as a matter of fact, the export of, of, of Mexico is bigger than export of the rest of Latin America. Wow. Tells you something how insignificant export is for the rest of Latin America. In the case of Poland, exports account for 42% of GDP. Big? No, not for Europe. For Europe is one of the less, least open economies uh, in the region. In the Czech Republic, our neighbor from the south or Hungary, it's 80%. For most uh, European economies, exports account for more than 50%. It's only 42% in Poland. It's about uh, one fourth of it is uh, is to Germany. So. 10% of our economy depends directly on exports to, to Germany. About 18, 15, 18% of your economy depends on exports to, to the US. Okay? So the US is a, the, is a driver of, of, the, of the fate of Mexican fortunes or misfortunes. The same goes for, you, for, for, for uh, Germany and other countries in, uh, well, you should add this 10% of GDP to Germany and add another 10% to the rest of, let's say, core Europe. Okay. Now, what is the banking sector? The banking sector in Mexico is very, very, very small. It's much compared to the GDP, of course. Is it good or bad? Well, it still is an unused uh, strength of the economy, but in the time of crisis, it's very good. Because the financial crisis that we are going through now uh, is, I mean, works through credit crunches, credit slowdowns, but if the economy is not dependent on credit, on banks, in time of crisis, it is very good. You may say it's a sign of backwardness. You may say so, but it's also very sad. What is it? What about Poland? Poland has the smallest banking sector in the European Union, but for uh, Romania. 
our banks are small compared to the GDP, which means that our households and our entrepreneurs are not very much in debt, as are the Mexicans. Which means that if something goes wrong in the financial sector of Europe or in America, okay, this is not good for Mexico or for Poland, but it's not calamity. It's not a calamity. It's not catastrophic. So these are similarities. Well, what else is similar? Peso is moving up and down, serving as a stabilizer of the economy. So is the water, the Polish currency. We have almost identical monetary policy. Inflation targeting. As a matter of fact, your inflation is now about 3.5. Your uh, interest rate is 4. Our inflation is 4. Our interest rate is 4.5. It's almost the same. Fiscal policy. Your public debt is about 32% of GDP. Ours is 56, but if you allow for the pension reform, which should be ex uh, which should be um, 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 taken uh, out of this, uh, this is 38 percent. So again, this is almost the same. The country is well balanced. The fiscal monetary policy, so basically economic policies are similar and well balanced. Both our countries are pretty well prepared to the calamities of the global economy. It does not mean that we are rich. No, we are not. <laughs> that we are uh, that we are not poor. Well you have the, the richest person in the world. <laughs> so at least one Mexican does not come. <laughs> but, uh, I guess more. I have seen uh, around. <laughs> but the economy is still a catching up economy. And it has problems, and it, you know it very well in, 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 in your country what the problems are. But it's a country that is well respected. It's uh, certainly a country that is growing in importance on all accounts, including politics. And this is the same, albeit at a slower, slower pace with Poland. So I think when I came here at the invitation of uh, Augustin Carstens, we have realized that our economies are, all, are almost identical. 